Hi everyone, today I'm back with a tutorial for how to make your own digital planner stickers on the iPad and I'm going to be using the app Procreate. If you're new to my channel, I do digital planning videos, plan with me some tips, so subscribe for more of that content. So first I'm just going to turn on the grid background for this canvas, go into settings and then go to canvas and then turn on drawing guide. So one of my favorite pens is just the basic mono line under calligraphy. I'm going to use the guide on the page as a rough guide for this rectangle and then hold it at the end and then let go. Then go into layers and and then duplicate this because I don't want to lose this outline in case I want to outline my sticker later. So in the layer underneath, fill in this by dragging the color into that box. And then I'm going to go into my layers and then duplicate that pink layer again. And then I've just picked a lighter pink color to fill in this new box. And then I'm going to tap on the selection tool and then tap on freeform. So I'm going to change this new box and make it smaller. Go into layers and tap on the plus icon just to get a new blank layer. And this is where my paper pattern is going to Go. So for my sticky notes, I like to have some lines or some dotted paper just so I can use it as a guide for writing. And the easiest way to do this is with a brush set. And I'll put the link to this in the description down below. So I can pick the line brush and then pick a color. So I'm going to use white and then all I have to do is just tap on that layer and then go into layers and then tap on that layer again and then tap on clipping mask and that is going to limit it to the edges of that shape in the middle and then I can also use the selection tool to make the lines wider or narrower and here is a dotted brush and now I'm going to add a title to the sticker I'm going to go into settings add and add text and then if you double tap you can then change the font and the size so now I'm just going to move this into the middle of my sticker. And now if I want to give the sticker an outline, I can go back into my outline layer and then just turn this to show visible. I'm just going to turn the other layers off momentarily and change the color of this outline. And now here is my final sticker with the outline. And now that you have this set up, you can easily change the colors and the titles. So for example, I can just choose a blue color and I can color in that layer and in my layer underneath. And now I have a different sticker. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how to make washi tape. So I've started with that same rectangle I made earlier and then using the select tool, make this narrower. And with the mono line eraser, I'm just going to go in and make this look a bit more like washi tape. And same with this other side as well. And then there's two ways you can put a pattern on top of your washi tape. So the first one is just to create a new layer and then set it as a clipping mask. And I'm just going to change the color of this layer underneath. And then on that clipping mask layer, I can just go in and draw in my pattern. And then I'm just going to go in with the select tool and distort. And I can just distort this so that it's slanted a bit more in the way that I want it to. You can also use a stamp brush set to set this as a clipping mask to make that a bit bigger. And then I'm going to go in with this dotty brush also from the same set. Now the other way you can add pattern to your washi tape is with pattern paper. So I'm just going to insert a file, but you could also insert a photo if you have it in your camera roll. Pick this pattern paper, it's going to zoom out a bit and place that over my washi tape. And then I'm just going to set this as a clipping mask and I've got pattern washi tape. And you can also change the pattern of this paper by going into adjustments, go into layer, and here you can change the color and saturation of your washi tape. You can also use pattern paper on sticky notes. So I'm going to go back in and insert the file and I'm going to use this watercolor paper, make that a bit smaller so that it fits and then clip mask and then bring my text on to the top layer. I'm just going to change the color of this font to black. And if you want the paper lines, you can just bring that on top of your pattern paper. Now I'm going to show you another way you can decorate a sticky note very quickly. So I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm going to be using a new brush set that I made. So I'm just going to pick this floral doodle and then I'm using white and you can just go on the page and draw and this will really quickly decorate your sticky note. You can also increase the size and decrease the opacity and then just doodle on the page and that will give you a nice pattern. And here's a different pattern. So once you're done with your pattern, you want to make sure that this layer also clips to your sticky note. So I'm just going to drag that layer over my base layer, tap it again, and then tap on clipping mask. And you can also go into this layer here, tap on that N and turn down the opacity. The next one is applying effects and patterns to doodles. So I'm just going to make a quick doodle, then insert my pattern paper, and I'm just going to apply the clipping mask. Then I can just merge the two and I can use that in my planner. I can also change the color of the glitter. So if I go into hue, layer, and now I have a pink one. You can also use the clipping mask to apply lots of cool effects. So I'm going to bring in this vintage paper background into Procreate. And then I'm going to drag this layer in between the two pink boxes and apply clipping mask. 
decrease the opacity of this pink layer above so that you can just see the effect underneath. My next decor is going to be a to-do list and I'm going to start off with that same box from earlier. Tap on the selection tool. I'm going to do freeform, just change the shape of this until it becomes a long rectangle. And then I'm just going to erase the parts of the sticker that I don't want. So go in with the eraser and go to the edge, hold it down so that line becomes straight. Do the same on the other side and erase all of this. Now I'm going to go in and add in my checkboxes. So an easy way to do this is just to create a new layer and I'm back on the mono line brush and draw a circle and hold down so that it becomes a perfectly round circle and you can also fill this in. I can then duplicate this layer and then just pull that down and then I can repeat that. And then I'm just going to go in and merge all of my dots together, tap on select, tap on uniform, and then make this all a bit smaller until it fits on my sticker. And if I want to give this an outline or shading, I can go back to my layer underneath and then duplicate. And then in that layer, fill this in black, turn on my other layers. And if I just want an outline, go on that black layer, tap on select, tap on freeform. And then I'm just going to drag the edges out slightly so that you can see that edge. And now it has a black outline. If you want a softer shadow, I'm just going to go back into that black layer, go into adjustments and Gaussian blur, tap on layer, and then put my pen down and then drag this down slightly, drag it out. And you can see now I have this soft shadow. And I can also go back into that layer and turn down the opacity so that it's not as dark. Another easy way to make the checkboxes is to use a stamp brush set. So back in my brushes, I'm going to pick the heart and you see this is drawing the hearts for me automatically. And if I want bigger hearts or smaller hearts, I can just undo that and then toggle the size of my brush. And you see this changes the size of the hearts. And if it's not centered in the middle, you tap on the select button and move it until it is perfectly centered. And here is a star brush. If you want rounded corners to your shape, the easiest way is just to insert a rounded shape. So I found this on the internet and I'm just going to go in with freeform and toggle this until it roughly fits my sticker. First, I'm going to fill it in because it has no fill in it. And then I'm going to bring that underneath my sticker layer. And then I'm going to set the sticker layer as a clipping mask. And now you can see it has rounded corners. The next one is about making text stickers. So first you want to make sure you have some nice fonts installed on your iPad. So an easy way to turn this into a sticker is just to add a layer underneath and then I'm just going to draw on the layer underneath and then I'm going to go back into that text layer and then turn this white and now you have a text sticker and you can also add cool text effects so I'm just going to insert this glitter paper on top and then clip mask that to my text then turn down the color of that sticker underneath and now you have a different type of text sticker. You can also color in the text. I'm just going to use a variety of different colors here Then in adjustments tap on Gaussian blur layer and then drag that slightly so that the colors blur together. Then I'm going to turn off this pink layer and the layer underneath, then merge these two together, then duplicate it, then go into adjustments, Gaussian blur layer, then blur that out until about 10%. Then I'm going to tap on the select tool, make sure you're on automatic, and I'm going to pick a white color, then tap on the screen, and then I'm going to drag it out. And then I'm going to go back onto the layer, tap on that layer, and then do fill layer. And you can see this is then giving me a white shape. Now it can be a bit pixelated when you zoom in. So what you can do is then go in with the erase tool and then just tidy this up. Without the paper brush set, you could also make your own line dotted in grid paper. So in settings, just turn on drawing guide, and then you can also edit the drawing guide to toggle the grid size and then tap on done then use a white pen here and I'm using the mono line make sure you create a new layer and then on this new layer you use the grid line as a guide and once again I'm just using the select tool to make some adjustments and you can also make dotted paper as well using that grid as a guideline and finally onto the export process you can tap on your settings and then tap on canvas you can crop and resize your canvas so that it just goes around your sticker and then tap on done then back in your planner you can just slide your finger from the bottom, open up Procreate in a new pane, and then just drag that finished sticker into your planner. You can also save your sticker as a PNG. So go into settings, go into share, and the share image as PNG, then save image, then back in your planner, you'll just find it in your camera roll. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.